I have never seen um, a judge's decision that attacks a juror like this. It's incredible to me. Statements made by one jury member who spoke exclusively with 7 Eyewitness News, forcing a judge now to set aside the murder conviction against former Molly's pub manager, Jeff Basil. Now, Basil is accused of pushing Air National Guardsman Bill Saker down a flight of stairs at Molly's pub one year ago, almost to the day. Well, Sager was in a coma for nearly three months before he died on July 31st of last year. Basil was then charged with second degree murder on August 25th and then found guilty on those charges on January 21st of this year. But now that conviction has been set aside and a new trial will now begin. So could that juror face any charges and how much money could a second trial cost you? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch live in downtown Buffalo tonight with the latest. Well, Joanna, this is putting a major burden on prosecutors who after months of preparation and days of trial could wind up retrying Jeffrey Basil for murder once again, all because of a single Single juror who DA Frank Sedita strongly defends. Jeff Basil was escorted out of court in handcuffs, cleared of a murder conviction thanks to a juror who Justice Penny Wolfgang says concealed pertinent information during jury selection. That juror will not face charges. Mr. Dranch, let me tell you something. It was Mr. Basil who committed a crime here and a heinous crime here, not this juror. Do you understand? Juror number 12 spoke exclusively with 7 Eyewitness News days after the trial, where she revealed she had military experience, something defense attorneys say she did not reveal before trial. Despite having taken a solemn oath to answer truthfully questions, ask them relative to their qualifications to serve as jurors in this action, juror number 12 did no such thing. I think this was a citizen who was, uh, who was trying to do her duty. I have never seen um, a judge's decision that attacks a juror like this. This ruling comes nearly a year after Jeffrey Basil pushed Bill Sager down a flight of stairs inside Molly's pub. Sager, an Air National Guardsman, died months later, and Basil was charged and convicted of Sager's murder. Now, because the verdict has been set aside, Basil could get a new trial. But after all the publicity, it could be difficult to seat an impartial jury, so the trial could be moved to Rochester. But the judicial process has let that family down. And they not only had to relive all of this once through a trial, they may have to relive this a second time. Um, that's got to that's be really hard. The family was visibly shaken today after the conviction was set aside by Justice Penny Wolfgang in state Supreme Court. As for a cost in a new potential trial, the DA insists there would be no major financial implications in that trial. It's worth noting also that I reached out to juror number 12 today. She did not return my phone call looking for a reaction.